What's up everybody and welcome to Organian's Puzzle Box. In this video I would like to continue uh, what, I, what I did in my previous video which was to implement a post-process effect in which we are adding sharpness to our scene. Now you can't really see it over here. I would actually have to go into the area where I've applied the sharpness um, post-process because uh, the, up the upgraded sort of version of this effect is that now I have the capability of deciding where the sharpness is going to show up. Now I'm just going to um, go into my uh, ultra dynamic sky in order to reduce the cloud coverage. Uh, this is just really getting in the way. Um, let me just find it. Uh, right, sorry, it was in here. So cloud coverage to zero. So now that we're down to the ground level, I'm going to show you the post-process effect. Let me just position myself uh, where I am. So you can see the sharpness over around here, but there's no sharpness in the background. Um, so this is done via the material that I have now upgraded, so to speak. And if I play around with these values, so for example, if I play around with a fade, let's say I take it all down, as you can see, the sharpness starts from where the camera is and goes outward. So right now the sharpness is applied to these rocks as well. But if I tone down this to zero, then there's no sharpness in the scene whatsoever. Also, we've got an intensity of our sharpness. So I can take that, let's say, to 100. And if I start increasing the distance, you will then immediately start noticing it quite a lot. So that's, that's the sharpness right there at 100, which is obviously a very strong effect. The opacity is not exactly. It's more of a. It's more of a, a slider that sort of says it tells uh, Unreal where to apply the sharpness if it's going to be background or foreground. I haven't really gotten around to make this work properly. But anyway, let's just take the sharpness down to three again. And like I've said to you, you know, this is where I. Uh, this is how I, I. I crank up the detail on the sharpness and then I play with the fade so I can see how much will this sharpness actually hit my scene and then I tone down on the actual sharpness effect so I get a nice balanced uh, sort of effect like I've said. So the upgraded version of this um, shader, um, if you watched the previous video you will know how to put this sharpness together but the upgraded version of this is just adding a lerp node with a depth fade uh, a parameter for to control the opacity and a parameter to control the fade. So this is really everything that's now driving um, the the effect to, as I said to you, be placed in the scene however you want it. Um, this sharpness effect doesn't necessarily affect things such as clouds, um, but you can you know volumetric clouds, clouds. But you can you can have a go at it and, and see if you can make it work. Um, so just adding some clouds within the scene. I'm, again, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna try and get close to them. So this is me in the range of actually having sharpness on these clouds. So if I go into the uh, post process um, over here, you know, where, what I've uh, showed you in the last tutorial, where the post process is going to show up. So it's going to be over into this array. If I tone this down, so now it's zero. There's no sharpness in the scene whatsoever. You can see that the volumetric clouds, there's no real effect on them, regardless if the sharpness is active or not. So this is actually a nice effect because if you want to sharpen your video's post-process, that's fine. But the volume, the volumetric clouds don't actually come sharpened. So that's, an, that's sort of a control that you have in Unreal Engine that you wouldn't have in another application where the sharpness would probably be applied to the whole video, for example. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, you know, just take a screenshot of this, um, of this node, uh, if I can actually find it again. Um, let me just open it. So take a screenshot um, of this node. You go into the other tutorial where you can put the, the actual sharpness uh, parts together and then add this depth fade node to it with a lerp node into the emissive color and use that to be able to control where the sharpness shows. So I hope you guys found this very quick tutorial useful and let me know what you think, if you have any sort of suggestions on how to improve this effect further and I'll see you guys in my, in my next video. So yeah, have a good one. Cheers.